In this video, I will show you three important tips on how to trade successful. I want to show you my three key learnings, what I've learned and what brings me to trading successful. This is a CFD chart on the crude oil. You can use any chart you want because the price movements are always the same if you know it. So my first tip for you is check out the highs and lows in the chart. If I start analyzing the chart, what's the first thing where I'm watching for? It's highs and lows. It's very important because I want to explain it to you. If you see this high, for example, okay, I will mark it for you this high. We see after a long upward trend, the market turns down. What does it tell us? Okay, we only see the candles here, we see the price here and we see the movement. It tells us on this price here, it's made $88 there are a lot of sellers which are trading the market or people who want to sell or people who want to close their position that means the price is expensive okay and the stock exchange have to determine a new price and the market is trading lower so that's behind it and if we see in the future and the price is trading again on the 88 dollars we maybe see again a reaction that the price is going down again because it's expensive and the sellers are coming again into the market and want to sell their crude oil or want to go short and profit from falling prices. So we don't know that exactly, but we know exactly because of the high here the price is expensive okay you can use any asset you want stocks cryptocurrencies or other um, type of assets it's always the same okay here we see um, this high got broken but we see some correction pullbacks in the trend yeah, it's a macro upward trend and would not trade against it but you see the price is expensive and some traders are do, uh, taking profits or doing sell trades. Okay, if we look in this trend, for example, we see, or we can, we can zoom out, you have a better overview. If I'm analyzing the chart we see here, here are the final lows. You see the market is trading down rapidly, goes higher. This is a rejection. We see this exactly on this pin candle. This is a very nice rejection. And if I see this in the market on these prices here, I know here some buyers are coming in and we are making new highs. High. The next high is here. That means a higher high. And then we are a little bit sidewards. And here are the new higher highs. Here is a higher low from this one here. And I see, okay, this is a trend. So the first tip was check out the highs and lows. It's very important. Uh, often I ignore the noise between the highs and lows. I really, really have a look on the significant points in the chart. If we see this, for me, this is a very nice low. Okay, you see the V shape or we see this in the market. And yeah, these are prices where the market is, where the market got rejected and it is very fast. So I can do a trade in the future maybe. And if the market does a pullback to this area, I know, okay, there's a cheap price and there might buyers come in. So the second tip is from me, from my side is, don't use technical indicators. The only one technical indicator I'm using is the moving average sometimes because it's the average price. And this is a good uh, measurement for some trades. It shows you real price data with the 
average of a price, okay? But if I'm using the, for example, I will add here the RSI. Everyone knows this indicator, okay? This is a typical oscillator, RSI, relative strength index. We see, for example, here, it's below 30, right? It's below 30. But I already see in the chart that this is a significant low and I can trade there. I don't need this indicator to see in the chart that we have a very nice V-shape rejection. Okay, I don't need this. There are a lot of other indicators which uh, just analyze the last candles. It's a mathematical formula which uh, calculate you some, say, some lines or something else. You don't need it because it shows you only the past. If you are watching the direct price, you are always better than the indicator. You have to look here and I see with my eyes that we have a nice uptrend. Okay, we see this. And if I put again the SI indicator here on, we see it shows me I should sell here. This is a fail signal. It shows me I should sell here, here, and I should trade against the trend. This makes no sense because we are in a upward trend and I would lose money here if I follow the indicator. So the better option is to win your trades, use the real price chart, only this one, and don't check out the indicators. You don't need it if you follow my instructions with the highs and lows. The third tip, okay, I will delete this. The third tip is determine the trend. Find the real trend. What is the real trend? Do we have upward trend? Do we have a downtrend? Do we have a, uh, a consolidation? So the market is not moving up or moving down, so it's sideways. This is important to check. How to check it? You are using again the highs and lows. If I see this, okay, maybe everyone will say it's a downtrend. But what I'm really checking for is this high, this low, this high, this low, this low, this high, this low, this high. Okay, there's only one option to check out if it's a real trend or not. I will tell you that. This is a theoretical example. We have a high here. We have a low here. And then we have a lower high, LH. And we have a lower low. This is a theoretical example and you can check it out in the chart. This is the only way to find out if it's a real trend, if the trend is active or not. And you see it directly in the chart. If we don't have this theoretical example in the chart, the trend might change. I will show you that, okay? The trend might change. And we have a real example here. This is a really good example. You see it this one, right? We have lower highs, lower highs. Everyone see this, I showed you that. Here, here, lower highs, we have lower lows. This is a downtrend, but what's happened next? Also watch out for this low. It's not a lower low, but a low. What's happening here? This is a the turning candle okay the if i don't see it let me show you you see this chart goes here 
Okay, I say might, okay, the trend will continue. But what's happening next is we got here a high. Okay, maybe here we can do a trade down. Down what? Now what's happening here? This is a break. This is a break. And the trend is changing, right? You see it directly here. This is a break. Here. And now we have a nice uptrend. So the trend is changing. And if I see this, okay, I know there's not a trend around and I don't can continue. I can't continue with my down trades here. If I see this, that the last high is broken. I show you the theoretical example. See this one. And now here is a break. Okay. If I see this, the trend is changing. Trend change, right? And this is all the combination with the highs and lows. Pretty simple. So the first tip is check out the highs and lows to analyze the chart. Ignore the noise between it. You don't need it really. You shouldn't go so much into detail. I zoom out, I see the significant prices, whereas the cheap price versus expensive price, and that's uh, why I'm using highs and lows in the reshape form. Then the second tip is don't use indicators. You can just analyze the chart with my techniques. You don't need the indicators. You are faster than the indicator. The third tip is check out which trend is in your market and maybe there's a turnaround. The one thing you have to do is check out the higher highs and lower lows. If it's broken or if it's not, then you might get a turn into the price. So this was my, were my three tips for successful trading. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye.